Well, the Supreme Court has issued a decision today, but it will not end the conversation about what marriage is and why it matters for America. In the places where marriage, where, where the American people had the opportunity to vote on this, they strongly voted to retain the understanding of marriage that has been that. <laughs> this day and say that whatsoever it is that a man or a woman will yield themselves unto to obey, I say the same becomes their master. Now I say you are living in time when many are mastered by demons, they are ruled by demons, and I say they are controlled by demons. And I say it is because they yield themselves continually to sin, to sin, to sin again. Yet I say in the midst of a sinful, a wicked, a perverse generation, it is me, the loving God, who is calling all men to repent, to return unto me. For I say, when men will yield themselves to repentance and give themselves over to the revolution of the same, then I say that their lives are transformed by the power of my presence. And yes, indeed, they can be forgiven of the multiplied sins that they have been guilty of. But I say, when men will stubbornly, proudly refuse repentance to go on in their own sinful ways, then I say they become the very slaves of those things they think they enjoy. And I say they are slaves in bondage, they are slaves in captivity, they are slaves in misery because they have chosen an opposition to me. Now I say this day when you see the ones who are parading themselves in proud array, flaunting their sins, flaunting their vileness, their corruption, their abominations, no, they are utter slaves. That is, they are slaves to the sin, they are slaves to the misery, they are slaves to the darkness that they are in. Now I say this day, if a man will yield himself over to obey me, then I say that it is me, the living God, who bears rule over the man. And it is me, the living God, who will bring forth such a one in the power of my presence day by day. For I say that my people are meant to be in subjectivity unto me, to be ruled by me. And I say that my people are not meant to have eyes full of adultery for the world and the wickedness contained therein. Now I say this day when I the living God do give the pathway of life and men and women will walk in the same, then I say they are able to be kept by me. But I say when you see the ones who have given themselves to their own understanding, no, they are utter fools. For I say you are meant to be molded, to be shaped as it pleases me. For I say it is unto me that you are meant to yield yourselves as servants to obey. That is, as slaves to my purpose, my plan, and my desire in your lives. Now I say this day that I the living God never called my people to go whoring from me to fill themselves up on the vanity, the stupidity, the darkness of the world. But I say that I've called my people to walk each day in me, to be ever thankful, to be guided, directed, and corrected by me. For I say it is indeed a privilege to be kept in the truth, the light, the strength that I offer day by day. And I say it is indeed a privilege to be ever guided in the blessedness that I provide. Now I say, therefore, this day do not look to any other source, any other way, but I say, keep your vision ever upon me. That is, keep single in your purpose, your plan, your desire, because it is me that you will be pleasing always. For I say, you are not meant to bow down to the God of self, nor any other God, and think you must serve the same ugly things. But I say, you are meant to be ever serving me, the one true God who is meant to bear rule over thee. Now I say this day, if you look upon the, same, the things that men will yield themselves to as servants to obey, I say they are utterly stupid and devoid of life. And I say you are living in a time when many have become slaves of death, and day by day they make their way towards the goal. Not only in the physical, but in the spiritual, they are consumed with the desire of death. And I say it is nothing but the work of demons that they are controlled by day after day. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be under bondage, under slavery, under oppression, to those forces of darkness and evil that are throughout the land. Nor do I call you to be caught up in the perversion of the age, but I say that I call you to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me, the living God, who can give you tender mercy time and again. For I say if you keep your focus central unto me ever 
seeking to obey me, I say that you will see that I lead you forth in the highway of my holiness, the way of victory provided. For I say that my people are meant to be serving me in an attitude of gratitude each day, ever thankful to be redeemed and brought forth in me. And I say that my people are meant to be knowing what it is to be kept, for it is me, the living God, who will keep them day by day. For I say it is indeed a good thing to be a partaker, to be directed, corrected, and it regarded by me. And I say it is indeed a good thing to be purposed in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. Therefore I say in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, why not be glad that it is me that you serve? That is, why not be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is the life source, the truth, the power, the glory, intended for those who will cleave unto me. For I say, if you will continue trusting, believing, and hoping in me, then you are guided forth in my way. And yes, you are given the directives that will cause you to live and not die. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men would be my servants, that is, ever purpose to please me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does give unto them the way of life. And I say, when my people are pleasing me, then I say, they are not bowing to the world. Nor are they the slaves of demons, but I say, they are able to refute, refuse, and rebuke the same. For I say, when men will stand up for me in the truth, the light, the purpose of who I am, then they are guided forth by me. But I say, when men are ever giving themselves to the defilement, the debauchery, the contamination, the abomination of this age, they are giving themselves to lies. I say this day, be thankful that I, the living God, will lead you forth in the pathway of clarity if you keep your focus ever upon me. That is, not giving way to demon forces, not giving way to the world, nor the rantings of your own carnality, but keeping yourselves steady in me. For I say you are meant to be a people who are purposed, directed, and ever guided in the truth, the light, the blessedness that I provide. And I say you are meant to be ever thankful that it is me you can please and obey. Now I say, therefore, this day, continue, 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 ever trusting, believing, and looking unto me, for I am the one who does give unto you the way of my life. And I say it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, and correct you, for yes, indeed, you are mine. For I say it is a good thing to be ever abiding in me, to be directed, corrected, and instructed by me. And I say it is a good thing to be knowing that for me you are given the hope, the peace, the strength, the safety day by day. Now I say therefore this day let it be me, the living God, that you will serve with gladness and rejoicing day by day. Let it be me, the living God, that you will follow after, for I am the one who is newness of life. And I say in me, you will find the purpose, you will find the truth, you will find the hope of who I am. And I say in me, you will be guided each day, for I am well able. Now I say this day that I, the living God, did intend that my own people would serve me completely, abandon unto me to do what it is that pleases me. Yet I say in a time of gross compromise and adultery with the world, there are multitudes who claim they are my people, yet I say they are serving lies. That is, they are serving that which is a shame, a disgrace, and a sorrow, because they are far from me. And I say they are serving the foolery, the vanity of their own way, thinking somehow they get by in it all. But I say they are literally under Babylon's Jesus, they are not serving me. And I say that the fruit of their idolatry is indeed desolation of soul. I say this day be thankful that it is me, the living God, that you can continue to look to, that you can continue to serve day by day. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who guides you forth in the truth, the light, the strength that I provide. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be bound in the misery of those who are slaves to sin, but you can indeed walk in the straight and narrow way that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does provide the humility way of obedience unto me, and I say, it is the way of life. I say, this day, be thankful that I, the living God, have called you to repentance, revolution, that you may live in and declare the same day by day. That is, that you can indeed continue in that which I give you, which is my light upon the path. For I say it is indeed a wondrous, a beautiful, a blessed thing to be found abiding in me. That is, to be found continuing in the truth, the light, the strength that I give day by day. Now I say this day when you see the ones who lose out with me because they give themselves over to be the slaves of sin, know they are utter fools. 
For I say, when men are drunk, intoxicated on pride, they will believe the lies of their own carnality, the lies of demons, and yes, they will be overwhelmed in the same. And they will actually convince themselves, trying to convince others likewise, that there is no consequence of their sin. Yet I say, if you examine their lives, you will find the misery they are in because they are slaves to sin. Now I say, this day be thankful that I, the living God, do ever uplift, direct, and guide forth the people who are believing, trusting, and hoping in me. And I say that I do bring forth the ones who will give themselves over to be my servants, to be in obedience unto me. For I say, when it is me, the living God, that you will serve in obedience day after day, then you see my blessedness in your life. But I say, when you go whoring in your mind and your actions and your deeds away from me to become the slaves of sin, to become the slaves of idolatry and darkness, I say, you are fools in the same. I say, this day there is no reason to live, to die, to perish as a fool. I say, there is every reason to come forth in me. That is, to be uplifted in the truth, the light, the strength that I give day by day. For I say, you are not meant to live in confusion, delusion, and madness, literally going insane because you lend your ear to a multitude of other voices. Nor are you meant to yield your members, that is, your bodies, to those demons of uncleanness, perversion, and vileness, and be overwhelmed in the same. But I say you are meant to refute, refuse, and rebuke the unfruitful works of darkness, that you do not be found in the abominations of this age. And I say you are meant to be a people who are indeed a light to a sin-sick, a perverse, a dying world. For I say it is me, the living God, who is in the midst of all the trouble, who is in the midst of all the sin, darkness, evil, and iniquity, giving the call to any and all to repent. That is, for men to turn from the abomination, to turn from the slavery, the darkness, the misery of sin, and to return unto me. Now I say this day, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who does give unto you the light, the life, the truth, and the purpose that I provide. And I say, be thankful that I bring you forth, that you can indeed be rejoicing in me. For I say, when it is me that you purpose yourself to please, to obey, and follow after, then you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the strength, the truth of who I am. Therefore, I say this day, be serving in the attitude of gratitude. Be thankful each day that it is me you can look to and obey. And I say, be made glad that I will purpose thee in the blessedness, the strength, and the truth of who I am. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to stray from my way, go quarry after the ways of evil. But I say that you can indeed be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed by me. Now I say this day, count it a privilege to keep on trusting, to keep on believing, to keep on following after. And I say, be thankful even now that it is me, the living God, who will purpose thee in the way of my truth, my light, my strength, day by day. For I say, when it is me that you keep yourselves in obedience unto, you are kept in the way of life. But I say that any who deviates, perverts, and seeks to twist themselves out of my way is taking themselves to the way of death. I say this day there is no reason to be found in the way of death and damnation, for I say that is the way of a fool. But I say that if you continue to trust, to believe, to hope in me, you can be made wise and ever guided forth by me. For I say it is a privilege to keep on serving, to keep on loving, to keep on following after. And I say it is a privilege to be redeemed by me, thy maker, thy God. Therefore, I say, in a way a perverse, a vile, wicked generation, why not continue to believe, to trust, to hope each day in me? That is, ever brought forth in the blessedness, the strength, the truth that I give day by day. And I say, why not be glad that it is me, the living God, you can be the servants, the slaves unto, that you come forth rejoicing in me, rather than dying out under the slavery to sin, only to face hell in the end. Anyone who is a sodomite, is so because you are possessed with the demon. You were made a male or a female. You get intimately by a demon. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled at the people's feet. You are the life. God is relentlessly putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in Gavin.
Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now's the time to take action and get active in the war to arrest your soul. And you lust for the women only because of a demon, and you need to have that demon cast out of you. Don't pick at scabs. You'll leave a scar. Mm-hmm.